What's going on guys, it's Cadence here. I've got a huge box of trains behind me that we're gonna unbox today. I'm really nervous because this was a big gamble. This was from Goodwill, like most of the stuff that I buy is, but the photos in this one were bad. There was some stuff that I saw that was promising that led me to believe that there might be some other nice O-scale items in this box, but it was a total gamble. This could either be one of my best hauls ever or a total bust. So we're about to see what's up with this. Guys, I usually am so excited to open these boxes and I am so excited to open this one, but I'm also a bit nervous because this really could be a total shot in the dark for me here. This was a big O-scale collection, which is something I've been working hard at stocking more of O-scale because I sell it really fast. This was a big O-scale collection and the photos showed a few things that I saw in particular that I'll throw on the camera now. It showed the tender to a Polar Express set. And actually, look at here, it's showing the photos right there. So it's hard to see, but there's some hints of Lionel stuff in there. There was a Polar Express tender, but no engine. There was one New York Central passenger car. There was some fast track. This could be either awesome or a total bust. So let's just dive in here. Right off, to start us off here. We got the fast track. We knew there was gonna be fast track. Thankfully, it looks to be an awesome shape and Fast Track sells really well. And also, they bubble wrapped it, which is a great sign because we know that our, our friends at Goodwill are not always the best at bubble wrapping things. Okay, next item I see here is an unexpected one. It's, it, this is, we knew this was gonna be in here. This is, oh, actually interesting. It looks like, we first of all, we've got the top to a Lionel station, but in here, we have one of those New York Central passenger cars, and we knew this was gonna be in here, but hopefully there's more. That would be great if there was more than just the one passenger car in there. And there's so much stuff in here to grab, I don't even know what to go for first. Oh my goodness, okay. This is off to a better start now. I see a, Two surprises in here, wow, okay. Neither of these items were in the photos at all, but let's let's pop this open right now and look. Okay, this is good. This is what I was hoping was, would happen. This was not in the photos, but this is a Lionel 442. Their standard starter set engine up until the like early 2010s. They still make these, but they switched more to the 040s for the starter sets, but this is good. This is a total surprise. Hopefully there's a tender in here for it but that's a great start for me right there. And then here is a nice 027 crane car, Lionel lines, looks to be all complete. And this also was not in the photos. I'm very happy with this so far. Okay, we're off to a good start, gang. This could be good. I'm not totally out of the hole yet though, I would say. Okay, this next box, Looks like to be some pretty interesting stuff, or this next bundle rather. First off, we have a cheap RC controller. Who knows what this is even for? Looks to be for some sort of drone because it says trouble flying on the back. That's gonna end up in the 25 cent bin. That's really not worth much to me. But what is worth a lot to me is this Lionel Fast Track operating crossing gate. And these are very expensive. And I hope the gates are in here and that they're in good condition because these are not too cheap. If I recall correctly, they go for a hundred bucks or more brand new. Okay, here's another interesting little bundle here. This looks to be, first off, another of the same cheap RC controller, again 25 cents at best, but we have a fast track uncoupling section and a normal straight track. That's good, more fast track, and I can tell the next thing we're gonna wrap is a whole lot of fast track. Straight tracks, which is awesome, bubble wrap and everything. And some more fast track straight tracks. And I can see a pattern here. Some fast track curve tracks. Five pieces there. Let's get something that isn't track here. Oh good, more track. This is some of the Lionel battery powered G-scale stuff. Not a huge fan. This stuff does not hold the value well. And it's just, I, I don't know. If you're going to buy Lionel, 
my take is go by the O scale stuff. It's really not much more expensive than the G scale stuff they make for the battery operated stuff, but whatever. I mean, I'm sure someone, someone enjoys this stuff. It's just personally not, not my favorite product they've made. All right, looks like we're really deep in the track zone here. More of that. And more fast track straights, four more 18 inch sections. I'm looking for some, some surprises here. That's really what I'm after right now. Five O thirty six curves, fast track again, of course. Okay, here is one of the pieces of G scale rolling stock. Again, I mean, not to rag on Lionel, they're one of my favorite companies and make some legendary items, but like, I'm just not, I'm not a fan. I'm just not really a fan of these. I just, the Lionel quality to me is, is higher than this. This does not, this does not scream Lionel to me. Um, I get it, they need to have something cheap, but the way they price them, it's, it's, it's barely, it's barely cheaper than the O scale stuff. So, again, here's the engine for that. I really don't like to buy seasonal trains like Christmas and Halloween and things like that, just because they're only, you know, people only want to buy them certain parts of the year. The only other time that I've had this kind of engine come through is I had a frozen one that was just the 440 and someone did buy that, but I just don't see a huge market for Christmas trains, especially in March, but you know, that's okay. Oh, okay, now this is good. This is a good story here. We got two more O-scale cars, one of which we hoped for earlier, which is another one of the New York Central passenger cars. This one, unfortunately, is going through a little damage right now, but we can fix that up no problem. And here's another car that we expected, the New Haven tank car. I believe this is from the New York Central ready-to-run set freight add-on pack. I believe is what that's going to be from. Not bad. Okay. Looks like, oh, all right, here is, here is what really the gamble was, for me at least, was this Polar Express tender. And what I was really hoping is that there was a Polar Express engine in here to go with this, because that would make the whole collection worth it to me. I know I just said that I don't like to buy Christmas trains, but the Polar Express is, uh, I think it's a pass. And I'll do a whole video on that later because it, it really is one of the most well-known trains in the world. Here are two more things that we expected. First up, we have another one of the Lion LG scale cars. I mean, like, like that's not that's not what I what I see Lionel for making. I don't know. This stuff's fine. But what I like from Lionel is more along the lines of this. Nice 027. Oh gosh, what are these called? Um bulkhead flats or something like that, I think is what these are called. Um, cool, good lad to have that. And the box is nearly empty. I'm hoping for a surprise though. I'm hoping for some, uh, some, some, something to really blow me away here with these last couple packages. Okay, this is a Lionel operating gate in, mm, it's an okay shape. It'll, this will go back together okay. Not bad, but I, I need like, I need something to wow me here. But unfortunately, I think we're at the end of the box. I'm not seeing anything else in here with the exception of this random piece of metal that probably went to something at some point. I don't know what though. And yeah, unfortunately guys, I'm looking in the box right now and that is gonna be it, unfortunately. Um, well, let's see what we got here. So, here, were, here was what we got that we didn't know was in the collection. This was a surprise, this was a surprise, and this was a surprise. Those three pieces were surprises. Everything else was expected. Um, I think the fast track alone makes this worth it. I don't know if this is gonna be a huge profit for me, but not bad, I mean, I'm gonna break even at least, so. Definitely don't regret it. But anyway, thanks for watching another train collection haul, guys. I will see you in the next one. I've got more stuff on the way, so keep an eye out. See ya.